I'm just not seeing the progress in the gym. It's terrible. Because you're not doing the right things, mate. What? Come on. I'll show you. Go. Okay. Yo, my name's Connor. Welcome back. If you're new here, I do men's health, lifestyle, and fitness videos. And if you're into that sort of stuff, please make sure to stick around and also hit that sub button down below as it does really help me out. Now, by the title of today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys three main reasons you are probably not growing muscle in the gym. So let's get this video started. Now, my number one reason for why you're not gaining anything in the gym is due to being inconsistent. Now, this can be due to many things. However, if you want to see real growth in the gym, you need to stick to it. You can't be going half-assed and going to the gym once three times a week and then the next week go there two times a week and then not go for like a long period of time and then go back to it. You can't keep doing that. That's not how it's going to work. So being inconsistent doesn't just involve the gym, it also involves your diet at home. So this leads me on to my second reason why you're probably not growing in the gym. So you're eating out three or four times a week. Now this isn't necessarily a bad thing, it just depends if you're hitting your macros. Now macros are your proteins, fats and carbs. And if you wanna be gaining muscle, you're gonna to have to hit your goals on each of these every day. Obviously eating clean foods is gonna help with this, but you don't have to just eat chicken, rice and broccoli because that's just boring. But whatever you do eat has to hit your macros. Just make sure the meals that you are eating are healthy and gonna benefit your body in a good way. Also, what you eat is gonna depend on what you are trying to do, what your goals are, if you're bulking, if you're cutting. Obviously, if you're bulking, you're in a calorie surplus. If you're uh, cutting, you're in a calorie deficit. So just make sure you're hitting your calories every day. So include exercise in that if you exercise and lose 500 calories you're going to have to gain them 500 calories back in food the best way for this i find is using an app i use my fitness pal helps me track my calories and it also helps me track my macros and sets me goals as well so this is a great app to use i'd highly recommend it also if you're wondering why i'm in my car i was trying to shoot some drone shots it's hella windy today so god knows if i'm going to get any if I have, you would have seen them in the past shot. So, pretty good I've got them. Now, my third and final tip is using proper form. Now, what I mean by this is to not swing the weights when you're going up like this. You don't want to swing. You also want to keep your shoulders retracted back and feel the tension in your bicep once you pull it back up. Also, when you're deadlifting, don't lean over like this. You want to... You wanna, Pull your hips in and bend your knees down because if you're just pulling with your back that's going to seriously injure your back i know i used to do this with bench pressing you don't want to lift your ass off the um you don't want to lift your ass off the bench because you're using your legs as pressure to push the bar up so you're also incorporating your legs so yeah they're all the tips I have for you today. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button as it does really help me out. And also subscribe down below if you like videos like this and want to see more content like this in the future. So yeah, hope you did enjoy. Please subscribe, smash the like button. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.